Hi, Timmy. Welcome to K-State. Why Why did you end up picking Kansas State? Oh, man. Uh, I just love how uh, Coach Tui, uh atmosphere was <laughs> and, like, the type of person he was. Uh, it was it was a tremendous time, like, talking to the, uh, the different coaches on uh, what, what they uh, thinking about doing for this program, what they want to accomplish for this program, and also uh, to the tradition and the family uh, atmosphere here. You can't, can't miss out on it. Well, how's practice gone so far? I know it's oh, practice going really good. It's it's fun, very energetic. Uh, you can tell the focus in everybody's eyes. Like it's something special is going to happen. Uh, how how cool is it to have an opportunity to play at the Big Twelve level for you? Uh, it, it's amazing. Um, my uh, the thing is, my red shirt freshman year uh, at Charlotte, we came here to play, and uh, just the crowd experience. It it, it was something uh, you can't remember. I just remember. Like after leaving the game for a week straight, I just heard the uh, KSU chat in my head. Like for a week straight, it, it was amazing. Um, kind of break down the the depth there, at defensive tackle. What you've seen so far from your team? Um, I, I think like it's the depth is is real good. Uh, learning from a lot of players and a lot of players learning from me. Uh, just experiences can keep going. This is like just iron sharpening iron in the uh, in the depth room. Thank you very much. Tell us. Hey, welcome to K-State. Um, so a lot, after you did come here and play that one time, did, did it ever cross your mind, boy, it would be cool to play here myself? <laughs> no, no, sir. It, it never crossed my mind until um, I, like I told Coach Clement, I wanted to uh, commit here. Uh, it, it was amazing because uh, my head coach at Charlotte at the time, Coach Lambert, he was a a, a wildcat also, and uh, Coach Wiley. So it, it never crossed my mind that I'd be a wildcat along with him. Okay, um, what what is it about uh, your situation that made you say, you know what, I, I want to transfer and look for a new school for a couple of months back? Uh, at the time, uh, it was time for uh, I looked at it myself and said it's time for a new beginning. Uh, I wanted to so go somewhere that I can grow as a person, continue to grow that I can like meet new people and learn new things and like experience a different area. So yeah, that was the reason why. Tell us a little bit about your game. Uh, we haven't seen you up close yet, but what are your strengths and what are you still trying to improve on now that you're, you're in Manhattan? Uh, man, um, my strengths, my strengths are, um, I can uh, recognize plays. I can read the old linemen, uh, what they plan on doing. Uh, I got a good get off, good power. I can uh, recreate the line of scrimmage. Uh, one of the things I want to work on here is uh, my motor for sure. Like uh, dominate plays and continue to do it instead of just taking plays off and dominate here or there. All right. Thanks and uh, welcome to K-State again. Thank you. Derek. Hey, Timmy. Uh, just what are your first thoughts and impressions on uh, the new strength coach, Coach Carroll? Because he's probably been there uh, not as long as you, actually. Oh, very energetic. Uh, <laughs> really energetic. And you see the passionate, um, like, in his eyes and uh, just the energy that he breathes in the weight room. So it's, it was uh, something that was good to see. Okay. And, and when you were being recruited by K-State, I don't know whether what other options you had, but w was there anything a certain coach said that kind of made it click for you and said, okay, this is, this is the right spot? No, no, sir. It was just the consistency of how often I talked to K State and just like just just how like long we was talking and just communicating with each other. Yeah, that that was it. I'm sure it's a pretty big transition from Charlotte to Kansas State. Has there been any players or coaches since you've arrived in Manhattan that kind of eased that transition process for you? Um, no, nah, no, not really. Uh. I, I wouldn't say it was a, a big transition as yet. It was just the drive was long. That, that was the only thing. Uh, but it just seems like once I got here, I thought I went to sleep and woke up. It felt, felt like home. Felt like I, I belong here. All right. Thanks, Timothy. Thank you. John. Yeah, Timmy, just uh, how good of a fit do you feel like you are for the defense and what K State's trying to do schematically there? Oh, can you repeat stuff, please? Yeah, just how, how good of a fit, what kind of a fit do you feel like you are with the defense that, that K-State runs and just the scheme that they run? 
I feel like I could, uh, I could be a good fit. Uh, just learn the defense and uh, be consistent with it, and also like just put in the work each and every day with uh, everyone else out there. Uh, get the same opportunity as everybody else. So. And coming in here, I'm sure it's it's probably hard to be too much of a vocal leader if you're new to the team. But in general, back at Charlotte, were you kind of a vocal leader type of a guy, or are you more lead by example? I was a more lead by example. Um, that's one thing I wanted to uh, come here like to help, like just work on my vocal leadership uh, because you can lead by example and also uh, being a, a vocal leadership, it, it like you'd be a tremendous leader with both of them. So.